So, in this video, I'm going to be showing um, VNC um, viewers performance with the Raspberry Pi. So, it, I will be running Raspberry Pi OS. And as you see, this is a Windows PC. Um, VNC will work on a Mac or a Linux too, so it doesn't matter. Um, and I have a good internet connection, so it should be working good. So, as you see, I have VNC open here. So, I can just go to the top right here and click enter full screen. And now it's full screen. So I tried to get these black sides over here off, um, but I couldn't figure out how to do that. So um, it might just be my screen or something. Maybe it will work for you guys. So uh, I can click on it. It loads pretty fast. I've, I have um, some apps installed and stuff. And I'll be just doing normal tests. I can right click desktop preferences. I'm going to change the background. As you see, um, I'll open up Chromium now. Let's see how fast that works. Um, so, let me go over to YouTube. So, web browsing so far seems really smooth and stuff. Let's see how YouTube performs. Um... So I rebooted now, um, just because now I was just gonna um, show PyKiss. So PyKiss is a great tool; you definitely need it. Um, so this is brought to us by um, Jose Serajan, um, and you should definitely check out his channel. He um, puts all of his PyKiss updates on it, so you'll see the updates um, before anywhere on his channel. So. Um, I would recommend you subscribing to it. Um, I'll leave the link in the description. So you just copy this command. I'm installing this also because there's a lot of good games on here. And I want um, to play those games. So it, it I had actually already installed it. So that's why it's like that. There's a little bug there. Um, so, we have games, so, um, I installed Revolt, so I'll just show that, and then I'll maybe install another one, as you see, that's it, and it comes up with this error, but don't worry, you just click OK, and then it's gonna come up with this thing like this, and all your, all you have to do is click yes, do you wanna download the, I don't have speakers right now, so I'm just going to go without music so it downloads it faster. I mean, the download doesn't take that long, as you see. Um, yeah, so the VNC is working out better than I expected. Um, for normal use, it's good. Um, I'm not sure about the games. I haven't tested it yet. So let's test, let's test out a game now. So it's done. So I just click on it again. So, you just enter a name, that's my name, Hit enter, start race is what I want, single race, arcade. So, as you're probably seeing now, um, it's super choppy and not that fun to play. Like, it's kind of hurting my eyes, actually. But this game, man, on my Pi right now, is running flawlessly. It's just that games don't work very well over VNC, I think. So, yeah, as you see, this game's terrible on the VNC. I would not recommend trying it at all. I'm just going to go out of the game. I'm just going to quit. Yes. So I quit it out of that. 
Uh, so let me go back to PyKiss. PyKiss is always in System Tools. Um, I'm not even going to try emulation because emulation, I mean, even if a game doesn't run well, then emulation won't be good over VNC. So I'm not going to try it. Um, so there are tons of games here, like Super Mario 64. Like he adds games, like he adds at least a game every week. Um, but usually he adds like two or three a week. So he does a lot of work on this. Um, and there's tons of info here, stuff you can configure, all awesome stuff like that. So, I also have Firefox installed. I'll show the performance with Firefox now. Okay, let's type something in. Just click on Wikipedia. It loaded up real nice. Um, screen loading and stuff is usable. Yeah, so it's nice. Um, you get way better for poor performance on the Pi, um, as expected. So Reddit. Yeah, so it loads. Mm, just fine. So, yeah, the closing, as you saw, was a little, like, rusty. Um... Yeah, so as you see, I can go, like, I can have my Pi open right here, and then I can just minimize this, um, use my Windows PC, use my apps I need on here, then I can go back to my Raspberry Pi all on the same computer, so that's really cool. And, um, so let's, let me just try Li LibreOffice and see how that works. So I'll just try the writer version. LibreOffice is a heavy program, so let's see how it works. So, so it's kind of usable. I mean, I think it is. Um, so I can just um, play around with the stuff. Yeah, sometimes it does get in a, in a little um, bug and it stops working, but yeah. I don't want to save. Yeah, so um, this is uh, Raspberry Pi OS over VNC. So I hope this video was helpful for you guys. And um, yeah, so I hope you got to see how VNC performs. And if you want to try it out, I hope um, this video like inspires you. Um, so thanks for watching and um, don't forget to like and subscribe.